Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Callie. And I'm Bean. So today we are going to kind of a couple of different books that we consider cozy reads. So with it getting colder and colder, even though, you know, Christmas was 60 degrees. But <laughs> now that we're into January and those more colder months where you just want to sit in a, on your couch with a hot cup of tea <laughs> or coffee or whatever, and just some cozy reads. Mm -hmm. So we have a couple of books to talk about that we think as cozy reads, which might not be what you think as cozy reads. Well, and it's also because the two of us have different definitions of cozy as well. So we kind of went with what makes us happy, what kind of makes us comfortable with sitting curled up with a book. What book would we just pick up just to read? Kind yep. of. I'm going to start off because I cheated and I have four books instead of instead of three. The first book I'm going to talk about is The Heist by Janet Ivanovich and Lee Goldberg. This is the first book in a series that recently has finished. This is the Fox and O'Hare series. Now Janet Ivanovich has several different series out and she's most well known for heist types of books or people getting involved in mysteries. So she is a mystery writer and so is Lee Goldberg. Uh, this one follows two people. The first one is Kate O'Hare, who is an FBI agent, one of the top in her field. And the other one is Nicholas Fox, who is a con man. And he basically ends up conning the FBI after they arrest him into letting him work with Kate in order to take down fugitives that normally they wouldn't be able to. And the sexual tension in this series is very, very prevalent. Um, is this Utopia with humans? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it also came out first. But yes, it is Zootopia with humans. It's full of, think like Ocean's Eleven. Okay, think Ocean's Eleven meets Zootopia. Let's go with that instead. And it's adorable, it's high action, and it's so smart at points. So I highly recommend this series. All right, so the first book that I have is The Selection by Kira Cass. This is a very romance-driven, dystopian series. Um, I read this in 2019. I binged the whole series. It was just that fun romance that I just really enjoyed. It was very... I don't want to say swoon worthy, but it was that like gushy romantic that you just sometimes you're in the mood for. And when bachelor. I think of, yeah, it's very bachelor esque meets, I don't want to say Hunger Games, but like that kind of era. <laughs> <laughs> now, no one's like killing each other, but there's rebels, there's, you know, people who don't like the monarchy. It's definitely in the future. The next book I'm talk going to talk about is a cozy mystery, and this is one of my favorite cozy mystery series. Um, it's called The Haunted Home Renovation Mysteries, and this follows Melanie Turner. She's an interior designer who specializes in renovation. And basically, all of the houses that she ends up working with are haunted. And so she can see and talk to ghosts, and it's all about her trying to figure out who murders these ghosts so that way they stop causing problems on her renovations. So, like, they knock over ladders, they break lights, they break windows, all this kind of stuff. They're just like, okay, you need to stop. <laughs> and <laughs> there's a dog, and it's just adorable. I love Cozy Mysteries. Uh, the next book that I thought of with Cozy Mysteries is Geekerella by Ashley Poston. This is a Cinderella retelling about a girl who's basically just a big old geek. And I related to that on so many levels. The amount of like fandom references in this just made me happy. It was just an overall fun, quick read that I I believe I did finish this in one sitting with a cup of tea. Because <laughs> it was just fun. It was hysterical. There were so many little like Easter eggs that I just felt so proud of when I noticed them. It was glorious. So if you're a big nerd like me, <laughs> you would enjoy this. <laughs> The next book I'm going to talk about is actually the book that has a special place for me because it was the first arc I ever received, and it's A Fierce and Subtle Poison by Samantha Mabry. Now, this book is um, a magical realism story that follows Lucas, whose dad has just bought a hotel down in Puerto Rico, and there's a rumor on this island of a girl who has magical powers who either can grant a wish, but if she touches you, she will kill you. And it all it follows Lucas, who is, I believe, in high school or early college, 
as he attempts to figure out this girl because he is bored out of his mind on this island. The last book that I thought of is actually kind of a weird one. It is a historical fiction book called Anne Boleyn, A King's Obsession by Alison Weir. I am a huge nerd for King Henry VIII and that whole <laughs> Tudor era. I love learning about um, the different wives, what each of them did, about Henry, about his children. I just, I live for it. <laughs> and I saw this book. Um, it's actually part of a series uh, Alison Weir is doing. She's doing a book about each queen. Um, I believe this year the fourth book comes out, so the Catherine Howard book. And I just, Anne Boleyn's my favorite queen, because that's how much of a dork I am for this era. I have a favorite. <laughs> I love Anne Boleyn. I love her story. Um, she was the mother to one of the greatest queens England ever saw, one of the greatest even monarchs England ever saw, and she got shafted in so many ways. But she was also one of the like first women to like stand up to her husband, even though he was the king, which wasn't the greatest plans. Didn't end well for didn't her. Didn't end well for her. But I just spoiler I, alert. Yeah. <laughs> I just love learning about it, and Alison Weir has basically a degree in Tudor history, so she, this is considered historical fiction, but she did copious amounts of research um, from letters, any, transcripts, anything she could find to kind of fill in the blanks of Anne Boleyn's life, and she's done that for each queen, and they're just such wonderful stories. You get that point of view from life until death, which I think is very different with Tudor eras. A lot of people just focus on when they were queen opposed to the before and I guess in one or two queens sakes, the after. <laughs> um, How many had an after? <laughs> no, technically three did, but still. Um, a lot of people just focus on when they were queen, and I really like how she tries to fill in those blanks with what would be the most logical thing these women would have been going through in that time period. And they're just great books. I thoroughly enjoy them. And the last book that I'm going to talk about is Pumpkin Heads by <laughs> Rainbow Rowell and Faith Erin Hicks. You've heard me talk about this book a lot lately, <laughs> but it's a quick read. It's a graphic novel. It's, it's adorable, and it's romantic, and it's just so cute. So just go read it. <laughs> it's a quick read, too. It is a very quick read. All right. So those are all the books that we have that we consider cozy reads. We both like a lot of stabby stab books. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if I consider those cozy. Stabby stabs and dragons? The mermaids? I don't really know. Mermaids? Yeah. So... This is what we came up with. <laughs> Free to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And if you want to be notified whenever we post these videos, hit the little bell icon down below. All of our handles are going to be down in the description. All of our Goodreads as well as our Instagram. All right, and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye! Bye.